Uh, this is the Redneck 439, and I want to do some uh, sort of informational, but yet entertaining. Yep, I can do both at the same time. And it's a class project I did, and I got a good grade on it. It was about my favorite animal. And I got, you know, I, how I mixed everything up. When I did it, I got a 10 for everything. Your, the grade was the 1 to 10. And most of the kids in my class have done it 1 to 10. And my animal is the 9 banner armadillo. Alright, um, the 9 banner armadillo. And this scientific name is a little weird. Dicypus the numeritus. I can't say that right. It's retarded. Um, I'm not really good at big words, but as is rednecks, we call it hillbilly speed bump. It, it's known by many names. And um, armadillo is, is in Greek, it means little armored one. And that gets the name because they have a big old t a hard shell and little lines on behind it. And particularly, the nine band armadillo has nine bands on the back of his back. But uh, I don't have a, a good picture to show you, but I got one on here though. But it, it looks weird. But I'll show it to you in a minute. But uh, the appearance the size of a house cat. Have any of y'all have a cat at home? About that size. Uh, they are actually about the size of it, but. What's different about armadillo? They are very fast, and they have a—they're blind, but they have a good sense of smell. They can smell almost anything. If let me think, like like adults one by this camper over here, which is about uh, less than a mile. I just say a mile away, he can tell what kind of deodorant I have on right now or cologne. That's how good their scent is. And they have a tail about 14 to 16 inches tall. It's about, about this tall. And have a pointed head with a long snout. It's sort of like a pig. I, 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 I describe them as a pig and a something else with a hard shell. A turtle and a pig mixed up with small. But, you know. Uh, they have not been crossed in midsection, mid which I was saying beforehand. Which allow flexibility and movement to run. They run fast. If you, that'd be a good idea. They start, you know, those pig races they do. Why not? They have armadillo races. Just, just have them chained, uh, just had them in the cage running around. And I bet it'd be a festival they're gonna start. It, it's, you know, armadillos are meant for a, couple, a lot of reasons. They dig also. They have these claws, and they dig. And they make burrows, holes. You know what you call big old holes in the ground? They dig and make little tunnels. And they're like a little miners, if you think. If you think about it, they ain't digging no gold or nothing. But you know, habitat and range. They live in South America, but they came up here about southern of North America, about like Texas, Mississippi, Tennessee, Louisiana. Louisiana's big for that. They put some Louisiana hot sauce on there. Uh, I think the Indians probably ate it also. Uh, if you think about it, about South America, the 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 the, the um, Incas, A C T A or something like that. But anyway, they they were like high evolved people living in South America. They was like Indians, but they probably ate that a lot. They're probably one of the things they catched with the spears, and they probably thought it tastes like chicken. If you know what I mean. Probably the only thing they actually had, but it was well evolved. That is weird minds, but except for one thing I don't agree with, it's about when they're talking about the end of the world. Their calendar was in in 2012 sometimes, and I thought it was a little insane, but I'm still here. It's 2014 right now, but anyway, uh, they uh, with their diet, they pretty much eat anything they get into. Don't freak out there in their garbage like armadillos and raccoons do. I mean, uh, possums and raccoons. And they, they, they'll eat like stuff like fruits, small reptiles. If you have a lizard in your house, you try and get rid of it. Just bring one an armadillo in there. he would be like a sermon there for you. Amphibians. If you, if you got a frog sitting in the area, in the pond, you have an armadillo running around there. He'll eventually eat it. Uh, and bird eggs. Particular, huh? 
They had like those uh those lobster raptors in the prehistoric times. That that was still an egg. Those egg stealers. But in a way, it's like that. Seem like a lot, but they said they look different. And I believe my own opinion, armadillos been here for millions of years. I may be wrong. They're they're just like alligators. They've been here for millions of years. And also, uh, you know what? They live. Uh, they mainly live in hardwood forests. You know, I'll tell you, like North America and South America, but not way up north like in New York. It'd be strange seeing an armadillo run around New York on that sidewalk. They, <laughs> Uh, I don't think that shell will help them when all those taxis run them over. Yeah. Um, uh, this is unique. This is where they got the name Hillbilly Speed Bump. That's my favorite name to call. Uh, when frightened, now, uh, they they sh they they'll they'll jump straight up in the air and they'll start running. It's just like. Uh, that's why that's why they got the name here, Billy Speedbun. That's why I lined on the road. And there's one idea I've been wanting to try out is getting one of the Mountain Dew bottle or beer bottle, beer bottle. And we do sit on the side of the road like this, put a beer bottle in their hands, and uh, it may look like they're drunk on the side of the road, though. But anyway, uh, that's just an idea I thought of. I thought that was cool. But um, you know that's the how they got the name here, Billy Speedbun. But um. Let me see, their defense, uh, they have claws to scratch, I don't want to mess with one of these, these are wild animals. But anyway, they use the claws probably to hurt their predator or whatever is chasing them. They'll jump straight in there and run, they have the speed, they'll, they run faster and all that. They'll probably be in one of the marathons, they could probably beat anybody. They're so fast, except when you got a 12 gauge behind them, it's about to shoot them, but anyway. Um, and they run pretty fast. They have a big old hard armored shell behind them. That's why they got the name Little Armored One. Uh, but, um, they use that for defense. And I believe they can, it wasn't anybody, they can survive short periods of time in, in cold climate. They can, they hibernate in that time. And then they they can stay there for days, and then um, uh, I think that's it. They have no about being names. If you see one, uh, they're not as bad as a raccoon, but they they can still hurt you. And it tastes pretty good. It, it ain't it ain't your easiest raccoon though, but yet you know, uh, you just gotta be careful. But the thing is. If you want to eat them, use the shell as a soup bowl. I know, freaky, isn't it? But, but anyway, uh, uh, this is the Redneck 439 signing out. Thanks for watching. And uh, on the comments, if you want to see, uh, put a scale of one to ten of the grade. I I got a lot of time in my class, but the thing is, um, I just want to see what y'all think, my viewers. Uh, speaking of that, I have problems setting this all up for you. Can you find out why? Look, that got stuck between those two trees. I, I couldn't get it through. I was trying to set up where I can have y'all through because the table's messed up. And when I set that through, it, it, I couldn't move it anymore. It was stuck. Me and Wayne, this is D Redneck 439 signing out. Get her done.